Hi there. Uh, my name's Lynn Hunter. I'm primarily a storyboard artist for animation, but I am also an illustrator. And today I'm going to take you through um, the beginning of a painting I'm doing of a protoceratops baby coming out of an egg. And what I'm going to do is I'm using at the present, this is um, a Papermate um, 0.5 millimeter um, pencil. I use basically an HB lead. Um, and what we're going to start with is a thumbnail. And I'm going to start with an oval. So probably that's what uh, the baby egg is going to come out of. Um, when you're talking about um, dinosaur eggs, they're usually not per se like your regular egg. They're more elongated. And we're going to have a protoceratops looks a little bit like a, um, a uh, parrot. And so he's got, this is almost a um, triangular shaped head. And he's got a very large eye. Most baby dinosaurs have very large eyes and a nose right there. Now I made beaks a little bit big, It'll probably be a little bit smaller. And he's going to be coming out, so I'm going to give him an arm coming out. And shoulder, and we're going to probably break him out there. And this is what I call thumbnail. This is just the loosest drawing that I can do to give me an idea of how I'm, I want to make the final drawing. And so I'll do it extremely loose and just, just to give myself an idea of where I want to go and where I want to fit the drawing within the page. So this is kind of what I'm looking at, single protoceratops and he's going to be coming out an egg. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side. This is going off camera so you won't see it. And I'm going to use that as a reference for what I'm going to do with my drawing. This is what I'm going to be painting on. This particular piece of paper is a Canson 300 gram or 150 pound watercolor paper. I buy it in blocks. This is four by six inches and you can get sheets of it and cut it down to four by six, but that's what I like to use. Um, this particular piece is um, not in the block at the present. What I'll do is I'll tape it down when um, I actually do the watercolor. But we're going to start with, again, I know approximately what I want. So I'm going to take, draw a quick oval. And I'm thinking the same skull, arched back. Think about a tube, another circle for his hand. He's got um, five fingers or five toes, and there's an elbow there. And they had a shoulder blade in here. When you know some of the anatomy, um, I've drawn a lot of dinosaurs in the past. It's been a while since I drew one, but I'm also, what you don't know is off screen, I've got some protoceratops reference that I'm looking at um, online. What's really nice if you've got an iPad or, or most people, everybody's got a smartphone these days, you can just Google um, reference material and while you're working on something just Google up a drawing or a, a photograph. Mind you, we don't have original um, um, photographs of what a Perceratops look like. So everything you've got is going to be an artist's rendering. And finish off the egg that way. I think his, his head's a little bit small. I'd like to make his head a little bit bigger. Make him a little bit cuter. There we go. So when I'm doing my pencil drawing, I can still, again, you see this one's almost as loose as my thumbnail. And I keep it super, super loose. And I'm not worried about, you know, making mistakes or I'm, it, it's almost like carving with a pencil. And put his eye there and his eye socket here. And like I said, I'm, I'm looking at off screen. Let's see if I can pull it into screen. I don't know if you want to see it. This is basically what I'm using as a reference for 
the head and for the body. And I also, I, like I said, I've drawn Protoceratopses in the past, so I have a pretty good idea of what he looks like. Let me just adjust my camera just a bit. I didn't realize. It was out of the way. Um, but anyways, there, that's better. Now he's in camera. Okay, so I'll, this is the finished drawing for my underdrawing. What I'll do then, this is a kneaded eraser. Um, you can get it online at, at um, Dick uh, Blick or you can get it at um, Michael's. They come in squares and to clean them, you pull them apart so they're like silly putty. They're really fun to play with. But what's wonderful about a kneading eraser is that, see, I took the drawing, and then what I'll do is this is what I call ghosting back. I will take my kneaded eraser and I will go over the entire drawing and just ghost it back so it's not as definitive as it was before. Then I like to come in. This is Big Stick. Good old big stick, either the big stick or the big crystal. The ink is the same in either one of these pens. Um, I just personally like Bic because it's a gloppy, heavy pen. Um, and um, the other companies will make, you know, similar types of pens, but um, I personally kind of like Bic best. I've been using big sticks for a while. And so what I'll do now is I'm going to go in. I like to start with an, an eye. That's where your personality is. And get... There's a, a ridge on his crown there. Um, Protoceratopsids um, were plant eaters. Um... And so that's why they have this wonderful little beak. They remind me so much of parrots. Um, they're primarily, they've been found in China. Um, their, their skeletons, anyways, have been found primarily in China. And they've, they've found them with complete nests, of like with mothers and babies. And they found them in eggs. So it, it of, of a lot of the dinosaurs that we have, we have actually quite a few complete skeletons of the prototypes and, and, and what's really fun is um, I did a, um, a coloring book you can still get it from Dover um, a long time ago called Dinosaur ABC and I used the prototopsid as um, my letter X for x-ray because what they could do is they could see they use x-rays to look into dinosaur eggs so they can see what the the young developing baby dinosaurs looked like by using x-rays. Now I'm thinking that since you know like with um, with alligators and a lot of the other um, reptiles eggs are usually they're not like chicken eggs now mind you chickens are dinosaurs what I really really love is is that we finally more or less proven that birds are the descendants of, of dinosaurs that we actually have dinosaurs that live today they just look a little bit different and if you look at some of the the older dinosaur skeletons you can really see the birds in them um, my, my favorite is I, I live in California and we have um, turkey vultures. And though I'm, though I must say turkey vultures probably live in a lot of places around the country. But I love looking at the turkey vultures because they actually look like pterodactyls. You watch those, those birds fly and you can see their ancestor relationship to dinosaurs. But and the, right now I, I'm drawing the claws. Probably doing his feet a little big for baby dinosaur, but uh, in this case, I'm just taking a little bit of artistic license, which you actually can do if you're not doing this for a scientific purpose. Now, so I'm going back here with the egg, making it look a little more leathery. 
getting a little bit more into the, the texture. And you notice too, with the pen, I'm still keeping it loose. And that's me. That's me. That's my own personal style is to, I like um, a little bit of looseness in the underdrawing. It'll get tighter and tighter and tighter as I go along. I'm kind of carving into the look of the, uh, the final, but um, I'll keep, keep some of these lines very, very loose. And then when I get into the final painting, I'll go over the whole thing one more time at least and get tighten up all the draw all the lines. And it'll still have that loose underdrawing in it, and that way it, it gives it a little bit of added feeling of life. And again, that's my own personal taste. If you like to have it nice and tight, you know, do it nice and tight. If you like it a little bit loose, do it loose. Um, you're the artist. You put into it your style the way you want to do it. So I'm just about done here. And what this is going to be, this is the underdrawing for my painting. So I'm keeping it a little bit loose. Um, what I'll do too is, what I like to do is let the pen drawing sit probably for no more, you no, know, I should say not any less than maybe 15 minutes. Um, you don't have to do it more than an hour tops. Um, to let the ink totally cure, it's a petroleum-based ink, so it doesn't necessarily dry, but it does does cure. And if you erase the pencil lines too soon after you put the, the ink line on it, what will happen is, is that the ink will smear. So it's good to just let your drawing sit for about you know, 15 minutes after you get the, uh, the pen done before you start doing the actual painting. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to probably stop right now. That'll be the end of this particular video. Um, I will be posting the next stage right after this one. So come to my site. Uh, you can find it there and you can see what we're doing with finishing the painting on this. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. My name is Lynn Hunter. You can find me my site at Patreon um, under Lynn with two L's. So it's L-L-Y-N-H-U-N-T-E-R. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it.